And during the first Twin Peaks biker trial, authorities allegedly called toy runs by motorcycle clubs fronts for groups involved in criminal activity. But tonight, a club in Waco is preparing for their first annual toy run and address some of the negative stigma that seems to be attached to biker clubs. Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell reports. Sandra Lynch is proud of her Los Parados motorcycle patches and has no trouble admitting she was one of the bikers arrested during the Twin Peaks shootout in 2015. My husband, myself, or anyone in my club was never indicted, but this never goes away. It'll hang over our head the rest of our life. In an effort to do something positive for those in need, the Los Parados Motorcycle Club is holding their first annual toy run as well as a food drive. Our passion has always been giving back to our community and especially the children. During the trial, law enforcement and prosecutors said bikers hold toy runs as a front for their criminal activities, something Lynch says is not the case. We are being profiled or labeled because we're bikers. and. That's not fair. It's been two and a half years since the deadly Twin Peaks shooting, but to Lynch, it feels like it was just yesterday. Twin Peaks is nothing that you will ever recover from. Um, I have PTSD now. Big groups of people bother me. Lynch says the food and toy drive will benefit the homeless and displaced children in McLennan County. The food will be donated to Shepherd's Heart Food Pantry and toys will be given to local charity. You've heard the saying that it takes a village to raise a child and that's what we feel like we're doing. Reporting in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News. The toy and food drive is this Sunday at noon at Rocky's Roadhouse in Lacey Lakeview.